Good day, everybody. This is Blackheart6 again. Uh, we're going to just knock out another video here. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is um, copying and pasting from other worlds and missions and scenarios. Um, so if you fly around Evron here, it's very clean. It's very sterile. There's no trash, no garbage, no no anything. It's just, you know, the map and what they put down. So what I've done before in the past is um, if you've played Combat Operations Evron, you notice immediately that there's stuff everywhere in the roads. There's garbage, pamphlets, leaflets, uh, posters everywhere. So how do you get that into your scenario? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a world layer. Remember these little hamburger looking layers here are called world layers. So right click on your world, create a layer. And we're gonna call this layer Z import. And the reason I call it Z is it puts it down at the very bottom and then import because that's what we're gonna do. And then what you wanna do is double click on it so it's highlighted. So it's going to be the active layer when we come back. Save. And then you want to go to your folder and open. And go to MP. And go to Co-op Combat Ops Arlen. Or correction, correction. Combat Co-op Combat Ops Eden. Select that world. Now, when BI creates its world at the very end, I think they do this at the very end is they throw everything into a default folder or a default layer. Um, so then it's a matter of sorting through it. Now, word of advice here is you've got to go through this stuff and make sure you don't have duplicates. Okay, so here's the default layer. And then here is basically the world with all the stuff in it. This is what it took to make uh, Co-op Combat Ops uh, Eden. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on uh, the, the world layer that's locked and you're going to say select all entities. And then you can go up here and you either go control C or copy and then go back to your world. Now this only works if you are going from the same world to the same world. Okay, this will not work. Um, I mean, you can copy and paste from one world to a different world, but what I'm going to show you here is how to get it back. So we're in our world. We have our Z input. Then you go up to Edit, and you say Paste on the same position or Control Shift V. So Paste on the same position. You're going to get this, and what this is, is this is telling you that this is not the only AI world that is present in the world. Make sure you know what you are doing. Well, we know what we're doing, so we can ignore it. And give it a few seconds, because uh, it depends on your computer. Um, you know, may take a couple minutes. It's copying over a massive amount of information. So, there it goes. Now, we've just pasted down combat ops um, for Eden but this is not usable um, and the reason it's not usable is because it renames everything so these these layers and all this stuff is is not the same name that it was in combat ops when we before we copied it so um, the next thing you want to do is just go start at the top select area 10 and scroll down to the next area. Shift, select, and delete. Okay, that gets rid of all the areas. You don't need them for this. Next, you want to get rid of um, any other things that deal with that. We're just looking for uh, items that are garbage and stuff. And I'm, we're going to whittle this list down. Now, 
word of warning. I did this with the military ops and it caused an issue with RHS. So that was why I was down for, you know, a day trying to figure that out. But we're going to get rid of this stuff here. We, we already have a faction manager. Don't need game mode. Basically, just start at the top. You can work your way down. You don't need any of this stuff. So let's scroll down to the first decal. So go down to the first decal and you can get rid of all that stuff. Now, these decal entities, if you hit F and go to one, it's a little thing that's pasted on the side. This will present the decal that's whatever's calling for down in here. So that's how they do that. Um, scroll down through. Uh, you can also go like this. Um, we can filter on the class. So we're going to filter on the class and we're going to go tree. And what this will do is bring up everything that is a class tree. We're going to close that and we don't need these trees in here. They just take up space. Uh, you, you don't need them. So shift, delete, and let's see what we got. So now we, we don't have any more trees in that layer, so we can close that. And so you have to go through this, and I'll do this offline because there's so many items. There's hundreds of them, if not thousand. Um, but you have to go through it and determine, you know, what is in here and do you need it. So um, these rifles, don't need those. Okay, this is stuff laying around now. So let's go here. F, there's a wreck. See how they added? Now it's all dirtied up. So as we fly through here, there's garbage everywhere, uh, roadblocks. So they've changed the, uh, the map. Okay, so save that. So once you go through, let me do it. We're at seven minutes. Perfect. So once you go through this like we don't need grenades laying around get rid of those um you know i'm only interested in trash so what i'll do is i'll go through this list and i will whittle it down uh to the point where it's it's you know good for me um uh, and just keep keep cleaning this thing up uh as much as possible now, I don't plan on adding RHS to this, so it should be okay. Uh, but if somebody does, it may cause problems. So we have to. that's why we want to make sure we go through this list. The other thing you can do is type in manager and go down to Z import. And you can see there's still some managers in here, uh, task and loadout. So we want to get rid of those for sure. And we're going to get rid of that music manager. I don't need it. So that gets rid of all the managers in that layer. And um, so what you have to do next is once you import this thing, you got to change your mesh, uh, your AI world. And the reason you have to do that is because you just put down a bunch of obstacles uh, in the world and the AI, they don't know where they're at. I mean, they don't know where these obstacles are at. So what you want to do is you want to go to your SCR AI world and you want to go to each of the nav meshes, and we started with GM Eden. You want to go to now combat co-op combat ops Eden. Okay, so this top mesh is soldiers, right? So you want that one, and it will update. Then we want to change the vehicles. Now, if you do this, you have to create your own new nav mesh. And um, I, I'd be honest with you, it's a little tricky. I haven't really done it, so I need to learn how to do it. And then we can post something up about it. But for right now, you can use the nav mesh that was created by 
um, BI for this because it's the same stuff in the same position. So, uh, and then this last nav mesh is low res. You don't need to change that. There's no, there's no combat. It's just this one here. So that stays the same. So you've changed the, the, the top one, which is soldiers. And the second one is the driving one. So you want vehicles and BTR like there, and that's for the driving AI. So uh, that's it. Um, that's how you copy over stuff from another world and then paste it when you're dealing with the same world. If you're dealing with a different world and you go from like Eden to Kunar, um, then you just use copy. You know, you obviously can't paste it in the same position because it's a different world. Okay, so just use a little common sense and, uh, you know, you get it. Um, I'm going to delete this comment. We don't need it. I don't, you know, the Adam. Delete that comment. Kind of clean things up a little bit. We don't need those comments. Um, and that's it for this video. And then we're going to look at uh, the next steps and see where to go with it. Appreciate it. Thanks.